latest discovery of a ray that would allow you to see through human skin was big news in 1896, and cartoons and poems on the subject went viral. For younger viewers, poetry is like very old rap. And for older viewers, rap music is that delightful sound produced when polystyrene packaging peanuts rub up against each other. Now, let me just lay down some beats. And start with the first one, which went out in Punch magazine on January 25th, 1896, less than a month after the discovery of X-rays had been published, and so makes up for in topicality what it lacks for in every redeeming criterion of aesthetic merit. O oh, Röntgen, then, the news is true, and not a trick of idle rumour, that bids us each beware of you, and of your grin and graveyard humour. Here is an equally revolting specimen from March 12th, less than two months later. Around her ribs, those beauteous twenty-four, her flesh a halo makes, misty in line, her noseless, eyeless face looks into mine, and I but whisper, sweetheart, je t'adore, her white and gleaming teeth at me do laugh, ah, lovely, cruel, sweet, que photograph. Which appeared in the magazine Life, ironically enough. And finally, a giant of prosody, known only as Wilhelma, armed with little more than a rhyming dictionary and an utter disregard for grammar, published the following on April 17th in that celebrated literary periodical, The Electrical Review. I'm going to go over time, but uh, this is worth it. The Röntgen rays, the Röntgen rays, what is this craze? The town's ablaze with the new phase of X-rays ways. I'm full of days, shock and amaze, for nowadays I hear they'll gaze through cloak and gown and even stays, which is another word for corset, those naughty, naughty Röntgen 